36 years ago this month, Rocky IV hit theaters and sent the iconic Italian stallion to Russia to avenge the in-ring death of his pal Apollo Creed at the hands of Soviet pugilist Ivan Drago. While it was the most commercially successful Rocky movie, it was also one of the most critically derided, so writer-director star Sylvester Stallone's taken it back to the edit bay, and shock of shocks, he succeeded greatly in fine-tuning this entry in the franchise, emphasizing what worked and cutting out quite a bit that didn't in the original. I'm asking, as a friend, stand in my corner, just this one last time. This new version adds a total of two minutes to the original 91 minute runtime, but it also boasts more than 40 minutes of new footage woven throughout. Some of the changes are so subtle they'll likely pass without notice for many. However, others are so substantial as to alter the entire trajectory and emotional weight of certain scenes. There's always a risk in filmmakers revisiting works decades after the fact, but Rocky IV dodges the pitfalls a lot of other re-edits have had to face. That's thanks to the combination of a wide array of alternate scenes to choose from and wise decisions on what to keep and what to change. Don't worry, the various music video montages are all still here, albeit with subtle changes throughout, and most of Vince DiCola's extremely 80s synth score remains in place. And while the arc of the story remains largely the same, it moves at a more deliberate pace, rooted in the character interactions as opposed to a full-speed hurdle towards the third act brawl. As far as deletions, the most talked about will likely be the dreaded robot. What was likely the result of a fleeting fancy at the time of production ended up becoming a running joke for three decades. Stallone has wisely chopped every instance of the robot, and wouldn't you know, we don't miss it, even a little bit. See ya. Bigger picture, there are other more meaningful changes throughout. For instance, the original opening montage, which quickly recaps the finale of Rocky III, has been swapped out for a deeper dive, highlighting the key role played by Apollo Creed in getting Rocky back on his feet. The new take shifts the focus to the Balboa Creed friendship, making Apollo's arc feel more tragic as a result. In fact, it's rather remarkable to see just how many varied takes Stallone got during the mid-80s shoot. Creed's funeral allows for a moving speech from Tony Burton's Duke Evers, but also a much more emotional farewell from Balboa. Despite the runtime remaining basically the same, the shift in focus and story progression allows more breathing room and buildup. We also get some meaningful interplay between Rocky and his wife Adrian, highlighting just how underserved Talia Shire was previously. Heck, even Dolph Lundgren's bad guy boxer Ivan Drago gets a few extra moments here. He's not suddenly delivering Eugene O'Neill monologues, but he's given just a hint more texture now than we got before. In fact, the only character who doesn't get to do more in this re-edit is Burt Young's Polly, whose arc went away along with his robot love interest. Polly, did you pack your toothbrush? You know how tobacco stains your teeth. Aided by 36 years of hindsight, Sylvester Stallone has gifted fans a version of Rocky IV fitting more seamlessly from a thematic and stylistic perspective with the rest of the series. The theatrical Rocky IV will always have a special place in the hearts of those viewing it with nostalgia-colored lenses, but this new director's cut elevates the original by excising the extraneous bits and retaining and reshaping the essence of what always worked. For more movie reviews, check out what we thought of Finch and Red Notice, and for everything else, stick with IGN.